A murder for hire plot stuns residents of an upscale McKinney neighborhood. Police say a 33 year old woman and her boyfriend hired a hitman to kill her 66 year old husband. He is dead, and now all three alleged conspirators are in custody. Fox Wars Calvert Collins joins us from the McKinney Police Department. Calvert. Well, this was certainly shocking to many of the neighbors when we uh, we spoke to one this afternoon and he had had just no idea and literally his jaw dropped when we told him what had happened. But police say this was a, a, a lengthy investigation and they used uh, social media, text messages and old fashioned police work, a lot of digging to connect the dots. And now three people are charged with capital murder. Uh, that's insane. I mean, that's just I, I can't believe that something like that is even I mean, that's something you see on TV. That's not something that happens in real life. Often, reality is stranger than fiction, and perhaps why it took McKinney investigators 10 days to make an arrest. On February 27th, police say 33-year-old Chan Samorn Pokai, better known as Aeon, found her husband, 66-year-old Richard Moore, dead from gunshot wounds in their Craig Ranch home. There's marital strife uh, between them. Uh, she was in a relationship, uh, be it friendly or romantic, with Stephen Brockaway. And at some point, those two decided that our victim, uh, they were going to plan this murder. 31-year-old Brockway became the focal point. Police wanted to know how long he'd been carrying on with Aeon Pokai. He posted this picture on his Facebook page back in 2012. But detectives don't know how he met alleged hitman Ronald Rosser. Pokai and her husband had a seven-year-old daughter together and a stepchild who lived with them. Here is a picture of the couple from Happier Times posted on Facebook from a 2014 trip to her native Thailand. I mean, they were very quiet the family. I mean, he, the, the husband, appeared to go to school and there's a school behind us and he would walk the, the youngest home. And... Investigators did not divulge a specific motive, but said in her initial interview, Pokai revealed money was missing from a safe inside the home, which they later learned was part of her cover-up. It's not like you were heard screaming and yelling coming from the, I mean, you know what I mean? There was nothing to indicate. Neighbors have been watching the news, hoping for a break in the case. But this murder for hire plot twist was one they didn't see coming. Because there was a conspiracy, then they had the opportunity, they knew what they were doing, they had the opportunity to attempt to cover their trail and to to uh, marry their stories together, but in this case, it didn't work out for them. Well, all three are now being held on a million dollars bond, and police don't know yet how Pokai and Brockway, who live here in Collin County, met uh, Ronald Rosser, who lives in East Texas in Longview. He is also facing federal gun charges and will likely be transferred here at some point. Clarice Calvert, what else can you tell us about the victim, Richard Moore? Well, it, uh, we have learned he is an English citizen and here on a visa. He was also a telephone engineer uh, and enjoyed woodworking, according to one neighbor. He also has two older children by a previous man marriage, one who lives in North Texas, and some of his Facebook posts show that he was an avid soccer fan. Calvert, thank you.